This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. This is how to turn your dumbass TV like mine into a smart ass TV using the Logitech Google TV device. Alright, now you can see right here there's a pretty thin, s small keyboard, big buttons, the mouse pads right here, left click is right there, so when you're holding it, boom, you got that. It's a universal remote, it controls your TV, cable box, and surround sound receiver all at the same time. You can also use your cable remote injunction or harmony remote injunction with this. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Hit the home button right here, pulls up the quick dashboard as you can see. And here's all my apps I downloaded from the Google market. It's an Android, I believe, uh, operating system. And you can actually media share through your um, PC computer. You just have to configure um, your firewall settings so you can allow media share. And you just download that app, like that I've shown you there, right there. All right. And you also play games and whatnot, just like a regular smart phone or smart TV would have. You can do the same thing. Netflix, you just put in your username and password to set up your Netflix account if you already have a Netflix account. All right, if you don't have a Netflix account, go to netflix.com and set one up, and then you can just download the app. It actually comes with it. You don't even have to download the app. It comes with it. And just put in your username and password. Boom, you're on watching Netflix movies. The photos right here, uh, that accesses your... Um, your Google Plus account. So if you have photos and videos on your Google Plus account, you just uh, go ahead and click on that and you'll be able to view it. You know, music video apps and so forth. Scanner radio. So when you're, uh, you know, you know what's going around your fire department and your zip code. There's your settings if you, uh, you want to configure anything. All right. And uh, let's click on that network. I have mine connected to a hardwired net Ethernet cable. It gives you the best streaming possible. HD. Uh, if you, you're going to view HD video, I would suggest connecting an Ethernet cable. Wi-Fi, you probably be buffering a lot and loading. It'll take a little while to load. So if you, uh, if you can, go ahead and wire an Ethernet cable. Okay, it does have a built-in Wi-Fi, I believe and uh, video source I got mine plugged into uh, my Samsung TV HDMI input alright let's get out of that picture and sound resolution is top 1080p you can change it if you want to right here picture size if you have any black edges or weird things going on decide to adjust that and you can actually open up the picture or shrink it whatnot through this setting Screen saver, right here. Screen saver, I set it for two hours. This thing only is 12 volts. It uses 12 volts, so it's very little energy. And it times out never. I set it to never. Uh, volume, it has internal volume, so if you're not getting audio, make sure your internal volume on your Google TV device is up. Okay. Sound effects is when you select things, and it makes noises and crap. Uh, notification sounds. It'll uh, automatically update itself, but it also lets you know if it's coming through, any updates or whatnot. Get back out of that. Optical audio out. You can go ahead and configure that. You can set it to your like you know wireless headset or your surround sound. Text to speech. If you have a microphone plugged in, you can do text to speech. All right, search search items so if you want to do a quick search uncheck a couple of these if you want to do a full search it may take a little bit longer you know, I'll do I'll search all these apps the web Amazon apps um, this is your media share through your laptop computer you just add just some settings on uh, your, your firewall settings and your Windows 7 computer um, I have a video tutorial on how to do that as well uh, web browser and stuff like that and uh, it also is a media player. You plug in a thumb drive media 
you know, pull up like, you know, if you have an MP3 player and the USB cable, you plug it in the back and it'll pull up your videos and pictures and music, which is pretty cool. And it's through your apps. You just click on Logitech Media Player app. All right, let's back out of that. Boom. Apps. All right. This, this is how you force shut down an app. If there's an app that's running and it refuses to shut down, just how do you do it? All right, just go ahead and click on the app. And then click for shut down. Uh, for stop. Or you can uninstall it. Whatever the hell you want to do. And these are the apps that are running in the background right currently. Alright. So you don't want to like shut down any like Android apps or Logitech apps. It may mess up your system. If it does, just unplug it. Unplug the power. Wait 30 seconds. And then plug the power back in your Google TV device. And I'll hard reset it. That's, that's how you reboot it. Hit the back button. Back button's right here, by the way. I'm using the directional pad and selecting with the OK button. All right, running devices. Oh, I already did that. What the hell am I doing? Back out of this. Get the hell out of that. Input devices. All right, so anyway, um, you get the IP, remotes, and so forth. To connect and disconnect, um, let's go ahead and go. You adjust the the mouse speed. So this mouse right here is too fast or too slow. You could adjust that. Just go ahead and go left and right and hit OK. You can customize your controls on your keyboard, which is kind of cool. Um, if you're gonna do it, I don't know. I don't do it. But you can actually change some of the settings so you could configure your TV and whatnot. So let's, like, for example, you just all right. Let's go ahead and up, down, left, right, and hit select a configure a key. So let's configure H. And hit OK. And hit OK button. And let's go to set top box. Hit OK. Hit down. Hit down the directional pad. Hit OK. And then you could. These are all the options for my cable box. Page up and down and so forth and record. Let's so click on record and then go to OK and you select the OK button. So if I hold down the function key and H, it'll you know, start recording on my DVR. Alright, that's what it means. Alright, hit back and back. You, you want to see if you want to save it, just go ahead and click on save right there but I'm not gonna save it alright manage pair devices so right now the only thing I have paired is my keyboard I think you could pair your yep yeah I'm right you could fit compare you know uh, compare you can pair your phone you, I don't have a smartphone so I didn't pair it so you just how uh, you disconnect or, or reconnect it and so forth and this is how pair a new device right there and you again a cable remote or harmony remote can be working in junction as this uh, as this keyboard all right so it's the back button get out of this crap let's go through the fun stuff let's do a picture in a picture let's watch cable TV and when we watch cable TV you can web surf which is kind of cool And this is just like a Google interface. Alright. So let's just type in something stupid like eBay. Not fond of eBay right now. They're freaking jacking up the prices. When you sell something on eBay, they charge you eBay costs and PayPal costs and, you know, like take 10, 20% away from you. It sucks. eBay used to be good, it used to be cheaper. But now you sell something on eBay, it's like they take away like 10 or 20 percent from you. It feels like it. So you just click on that. And this is the left click right here. As well, this is the left click. There's no right click, by the way. Alright, so now let's go back out of this. If you want to get rid of this menu, now, I mean, if you want to get rid of the picture in picture, you just go ahead and click on that. But before I do that, I'm going to show you this. Put the mouse cursor over the picture and hit select. 
right here and you can maximize that close it move it decrease the size of the picture in the picture let's move it and use the directional pad to move it let's move it down boom it's down let's move it left oh where is it oh it's over there oh nope it's up there to the right so I like that feature it's really cool and then get out of that and then it disappears see so now you can pause your DVR so right now your DVR is paused you can also play it right here hit play and it's playing and then you can rewind and forward turn off your TV turn off your cable box turn off your surround sound DVR recording list click on that button and there's your recordings on your cable box DVR all right get out of that hit it again TV TV um, TV guide and there's your TV guide and so forth you can use the directional pad to move around all right which is kind of cool live TV you want to go back to live TV just hit live TV all right hit the back button if you want to get out of that and boom you're back on there County is dealing with the that's mute Dollars volume up volume down uh, depending on how do you configure it you basically just plug in your model number of your TV cable box and surround sound and it makes this a universal remote it's a left click again um, this is a quick search button right here you can also channel up and channel down right here so it, they designed this really awesome because when you're holding it these are the most commonly used buttons so it makes it really easily accessed and on this right hand you know obviously you're holding it like this and then you can access it like that and click so they must they they really put well thought into this keyboard two thumbs up good job launch attack all right here's a search button you hit the search button you could basically search for whatever let's type in hulk or Spider Man. Actually, you know, let's type in Spider Man because I love Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man. Alright, here we go. You don't even have to finish typing. That's how smart it is. It thinks it's smarter than you. Alright, so it searches. Um, it'll search, you know, you even click on more search results and it'll go from the web. So it'll search google.com, um, you know, basically the web. It'll search the web. It'll search. YouTube, it'll search your DVR as well. So it's pretty cool. So, and right now it's searching something. I don't know. I was searching uh, google.com. Let's get the hell out of here. What the hell? I don't want that. I want to make DVR. Uh, I think it, yeah, that's it. That's it. So if it has that symbol, it's your DVR, I believe. So let's click on that. Give me something, Spider Man, please. Rent? I don't want to rent Spider-Man. Who the hell wants to rent Spider-Man? That's the f first Spider-Man. I don't know anyone who would rent the first Spider-Man. Alright, let's go... Spider-Man 2 or some crap. Rent? What the hell? I guess Spider-Man is not on TV right now. Alright, so... But you can like, actually search all your TV shows. So, when you click on the home button... And you go to right here, it'll pull up this, all the TV shows and whatnot, all in a category. And you can search each individual series. There, hit the home button again. And you search all your apps. All right. Get out of that. Netflix, you just sign in using your username and password. YouTube. Um, so if you have a Google and a YouTube account, it would sync it in, synchronize it. So you can click on your YouTube, all your home videos or whatever videos you have on your YouTube account. You can do a search too as well, YouTube search. All right, click on subscriptions and it'll categorize everything, making easy access to them. And I'm just using the left click and up click. You can also use the mouse down 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 so these are like yeah, I got Cartoon Network because I got kids Comedy Central and a bunch of crap Disney Channel and so forth alright uh, hit the home button get out of that 
and here's a Google Store right there. So if you want more apps, just click on that. This is a Google Chrome web browser, surf the internet and so forth. All right. So I'm going to show you a couple of different things right here. So I got um, Discovery Earth, which is pretty cool. I, I got, you know, this is game's kind of fun too. This kind of like a, I don't know, paddle in the ball and it bounces around and all that crap. You've probably seen that before. The one thing I do like is uh, if you have video surveillance in your um, house or whatnot, your apartment, you can actually access that through this app, Tiny Cam Monitor, which is kind of cool. And uh, right here is, again, your photos from your Google Plus account. You can have all the photos and videos, so it'll expand, expand your um, memory. On your, even though your memory is uh, 520 megabytes on your Google um, device, you go ahead and um, download all your pictures and videos on your Google Plus account and YouTube account, and uh, you'll be able to access all that easily through that app. And it comes with a Google TV device. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Post a comment, subscribe, let me know what you think about this thing. If you have it, if you like it, go ahead and comment below. If you had it and you returned it and you think it sucks and what you, you, know, you would do to make it better, let us know. All right, but I got it for 100 bucks at CompUSA. I really enjoy it, and I think it's just as good as any smart TV out on the market. I set them up for a living. I spent, I set up a lot of smart TVs, Samsung, Sony, LG, uh, you know, and hooking this up to my regular TV makes it just as good as those TVs, I believe. And it works pretty seamless without any delays. All right, uh, but uh, anyhow... Post a comment below if you have any issues or um, problems with this device. I'll maybe, you know, help you out. Thanks for watching. Post a comment and subscribe to Tampa Tech. Sorry for the lengthy video. I just want to make sure I was thorough.